live from Southwest Florida's morning news source. This is Fox 4 News Rising. Good morning, and we've got Patrick Lowe from Barkbusters here with us. If your dog is one of those that you take him out for a walk on the leash and he jerks you instead of you leading him, that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about getting your dog to follow your leadership, not you following the dog's leadership. And Patrick Barkbuster right. does in-home dog training. Good day. Um, exactly. One of the things that we that we really stress that well, hey, dogs are pack animals, and uh, that doesn't mean if you don't want another dog, you don't have to get one. <laughs> but it's really important that we understand that dogs operate on on a very basic, I guess, set of programming. One of the things that dogs take literally is leaders lead. The name of the game, after all, is follow the leader. Right. So the next time you you are walking down the street and you see your neighbor and your neighbor's kind of getting pulled along by a little Bichon or even a really big bull mastiff. It's a case of pulling is often the thing that other trainers treat by, you know, putting harnesses on or headgear or different devices or apparatus right. to minimize the, the symptom of the pulling. Yeah. The issue is really much more really the behavioral issue in the dog's head of, well, why is the dog pulling? Well, the dog's likely pulling because of how we're communicating to the dog and how the dog's communicating to us for the dog to really believe that the dog is the leader. So you shouldn't just jerk the leash and try and yank the dog back. Not going to work. You don't want to, and again, we, want, we train our clients how to walk their dog with a loose leash. Jake could be walked by me, by you, by my four-year-old kids, and the leash at all times would be nice and loose. You can see he's a fairly relaxed pooch. Yeah, Jake <laughs> has been well trained here. He is cool as a cucumber. So what's the trick to get the dog to walk on that loose leash? Well, we want to be able to make sure that we talk the dog's language. Dogs don't talk to each other by using treats or clickers or collars. Right? Dogs use their body language right. and voice tones. So that's what we teach our clients. We teach our clients how to talk dog. So that way our clients can train their dogs as well as their dogs have trained them. And the key is if the dog feels in control of the situation, it's not going to resist against you. But you really are the one in control of the situation, just kind of letting the dog think that. Well, and again, it's a case of we want to make sure that the dog thinks and knows and really believes that whoever's on this end of the leash is a leader. And if the dog believes that you are the leader, well, it will naturally want to follow. After all, again, the name pack of the game mentality. is... Pack Absolutely. The pack mentality, the name of the game is follow the leader. And follow the leader all the way to this information. If you want more on BarkBusters, BarkBusters.com, 500 2275 That's 887-500-2275. Patrick will be back in our 8 o'clock hour with some more tips. Patrick, thanks so much. Thank for you Saturday. very much. Thank you very much, Dick. Live from Southwest Florida's morning news source, this is Fox 4 News Rising. A lot of you might have gotten some puppies for Christmas, new little youngsters running around the house with all that energy. And if you want to be like Jake here, cool as a cucumber, Patrick Logue with BarkBusters can help out. BarkBusters is in-home dog training. So first off, if we have a puppy, what age do we start training them? They're... My personal preference is I like to see at, le uh, at least three months old, 12 okay. weeks. Um, what we want to understand though is that, well, a puppy gets its education from its mom and from its litter mates. Right. And when we remove that puppy from its mom and its litter mates, it's really our responsibility as basically its new parent to provide that same type of education in a way that the dog will naturally understand. And that's where the Barkbusters communication comes into play. So while you're waiting for the puppy to become old enough to go to kindergarten and go to school with right. you guys, what do you do in the meantime, like for, you know, potty training and things like that? Because they got to learn that right away. They got to learn that as fast as possible. <laughs> absolutely. And so really just like with any, if we were working on potty training our child, um, we need to be very proactive about it. Puppies generally need to go, well, right when they wake up, uh, sometimes even before they have a meal, certainly after they have a meal. They need to often go out after you walk them because puppies just get so distracted by being outside, they forget what they're out there to do, kind of like a lot with kids. And so if we just take a stance that, hey, it's our responsibility as the dog's parent 
and uh, educator to be very proactive about say hey no it's time to go potty we're going to take you out and you stick to a schedule again very similar to toilet training a child um, you're going to have a lot better success. Do you lead them to the door? How do you get them to know to like kind of wait at the door, beg at the door, whatever that signal so you know, let them out? Well, you want to do a lot of initiating and this is where, this is where we really start to work on the psychological side, I guess, of the dog because we want to make sure that while we certainly don't mind it if our dog tells us we have to go out and he has to go toilet and things like that, we really want to be very proactive by basically showing him, no, nope, hey, it's potty time right now. Yeah. Because here's the thing. In life, leaders initiate and subordinates respond. So, not, so if we're constantly allowing our dog to dictate what it is that we're doing, you're probably very passively training your dog that he's in charge. And then the dog leads the house, which is why Bark Busters is here. Right, that's why we're here you. in the first place, absolutely. <laughs> and if you want more information on Bark Busters, all their training tips, or maybe get Patrick out to your house, you can contact him at one 2275 or BarkBusters.com. And pretty soon your dog will be just as cool as Jake. Look at him, he didn't he even is, move. This is a live dog. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> he is, he's, just, he's just worn out by all this activity. Thanks, Patrick. Thank you.